immediately after this uh, tutorial session and the, the submission deadline is in one hour. That is one hour after this session. That is the deadline for your submission. So and I want to believe everyone is with their laptop and we are ready for that challenge. So uh, let me share my screen. So can you confirm if you can see my screen? Okay, thank you, Mubarak. So our discussion today is on time management and prioritization. And uh, as we embark on a transformative journey in acquiring technical skills, it is essential for us to master time management and how to prioritize the uh, different tasks. So we'll be exploring this and uh, I will uh, in my presentation, we also have uh, techniques you can use to prioritize our, uh, our activities. So this is the outline we have the overview, why time management is essential for us to, uh, as a challenge to have time leakage, because if you can identify what is taking away your time, you should be able to know how to curtail it. So relevance on the job, element of effective time management, prioritization, prioritization techniques, tools and challenges and resources, then we have the, the challenge. So this is the overview. Uh, time management is quite important for maximizing productivity. I want to believe uh, everyone here, at least on the surface, we know what time management is, uh, but even though not every one of us actually manages our time. So, and uh, it's important for us to maximize productivity, maintaining a healthy work-life balance. It involves organizing and planning. Just like Ten Academy, you have uh, a lot of tasks on your desk. Uh, you have technical challenge, you have non-technical challenge, and you want to complete all this in one week. And you also have your, you have your social life to live. You have some other activities to do. So how do you manage all those activities at the same time? So in respect to your workplace, if you later eventually get on a job, how do you manage a lot of tasks at the same time with, without, uh, without demeaning your, your own social life and your, uh, your other activities? Some people, some of us are, we have to go to church, some have to go to mosque, have to attend parties. So how do you balance all these activities together at the same time and also prioritizing them for to ensure quality and efficiency. So why time management? So we have a developing strong time management and prioritization skill is very, very crucial. And as you advance to higher levels in your career on a global scale, you will often navigate multiple tasks simultaneously. So just assume, okay, you can start over your career as a junior engineer. As time moves, you can become a, a mid-level, a senior. So by the time you become a senior, You'll be managing a lot of tasks, managing people, managing projects. And in that situation, how do you navigate yourself in the midst of lots of tasks and striking a balance between work and personal life, which is very essential. Just like on Saturdays and Sunday, we still have guys opening their laptop, having to complete some tasks and all. But how do you balance the two? Because health is wealth. You have to while working you have to be very, very watchful about your health also. So striking a balance between work and personal life while delivering exceptional results become a paramount in such a scenario. So time management is very essential to everyone, even those not in those in tech alone. If you are a family person, you need out, you should know how to manage your time. You know how to do how to create time for yourself, create time for your family, create time for your work, and even create time for your career advancement. So Time leakage. Uh, time leakage is very, very important for us to know what are the things that yes that can uh, leak our time away. Just like as we have it said, okay, it refers to phenomena where time is unintentionally or unknowingly wasted. 
we have a number of us that we spend a lot a lot of time on instagram twitter facebook you know the feed on those pl um, social platforms are endless you can keep scrolling for 24 hours and you keep seeing feeds so those are time leakage and i have some courses there procrastination can lead to time leakage and uh, i want to believe anyone that has gone through with zero will know that yes yeah, ten academy if you are someone who can procrastinate you won't be able to meet up with those deadlines so procrastination interruption uh just like social media is one of the major interruption and one of the major time leakage device that we have out there social media use and poor planning if you are not uh planning your time very well uh you are definitely going to have a lot of time leakage but just like as we have it on our notion where we have uh all the tasks assigned we know okay 10 80 m utc we are having our stand up we have 11 10 m utc or 9 m utc we are having tutorial we have instant, we have time for our cbs and every other activities so that is proper planning but it's a situation whereby we don't have those plan in place will definitely lead to time leakage so what is all the relevance of this time management on the job? When you have when you get on the job, definitely is going to optimize your productivity. Yeah, just like someone who knows how to manage his time, we definitely get all his tasks done appropriately, meeting deadlines. At an academy, we have strict deadlines. Having all these challenges, then you want to deliver your career tutorial, your first submission of your non-technical, second submission of non-technical tutorial. You want you want to have all those submissions at the same time. At the same time, it's deadlines fixed, and you know that there is consequence for late submission. So these are things that when you get on the job, no one wants to hear any excuse from you that you don't have. So, 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 so that's why you are not. You have a lot of you have a lot of workload. That's why you're not de getting uh, delivering quality uh, output. So meeting deadlines is going to definitely aid your uh, your deadline. How to meet deadline? It's also reduce stress. When you manage your time very well, you know you have one hour to complete a task, you know you have two hours for a tutorial, and you are very committed to it. You try to avoid all those time leakages. You definitely know, okay, by this time, by maybe 2 a.m. to or 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., I'll be having my sister. It's going to definitely reduce your stress. But if you are not managing your time well, by the time you are looking at deadline, you'll be under stress, you'll be under pressure to get your task them delivered. So you'd also enhance your quality of work, definitely. If you are given a task to uh, to be submitted on Saturday and you've started working on it since Monday, that means you have a plan ahead. So it's going to, you are going to explore a lot of uh, options to ensure you have quality work. But if you are a type that there is no proper planning, no proper time management, all you want to do is just to get the uh, just to get meet your deadline, just to submit the task without even considering the quality of the work you've done. So when you have a proper time management, you enable it will enable you to have a quality work. So when you even get on a job, so it also improve your work life balance. I've also I've explained this and your professional reputation. So if I type that always meet deadline without compromising quality, definitely you have a good professional uh, reputation. So what are the elements of uh, effective time management? goal setting yes you have a goal to submit a task on saturday you have a goal to complete the project in two weeks that is the goal then after having that goal you want what is your work how do you plan ahead of it so as we're having uh this intensive training we have we've had a lot of plans okay we have the goal we want to place our trainings on the job make them global level professionals then how do we plan towards it so you must when you have a goal a goal without a plan is just an assumption so when you have a goal, you must plan towards it. Okay, I'll be spending two hours a day for my task. I'll be, so you should have a plan. So that plan is uh, is left to you to determine how do you go about the planning. Then you have to schedule. One thing is to plan, and that thing is to schedule. So how do you schedule? You are scheduling based on the timing. How, mu how much time do you want to assign to a particular activity that will enable you to achieve your plan? So that is scheduling. If you are having a time to read 30 minutes a day, and you've scheduled that time to be like 8.30 to 9 a.m., 8.30 p.m. to 9 a.m., 9 p.m., then that's the time you schedule for that 
particular activity. So after you've set your goal, you set your plan, then schedule, when you have the proper scheduling, then you know that time is allotted to that particular activity. Then if you are in a situation where by in position of uh, authority or management, then you can also delegate. But instance whereby you are the you are your own manager, then you have to delegate that to yourself. Then you have to avoid procrastination. Procrastination is one of the uh, greatest enemy of progress. So you have to definitely avoid procrastination. Those are the element of uh, effective time management. So then the other side we have here is a, a prioritization. How do you prioritize? So it's the process of determining the order for dealing with task activities or goal based on the relative importance, urgency, or impact. So when you're talking about prioritization, you want to prioritize, you have a number of tasks on your table. You have to, you have to prioritize them based on their importance, their, their urgency, and their efficiency. So when you have just like in academy, you have technical, we have no technical, we have some other submissions to do. Prioritization comes into play. What is the deadline? Is this task very, very important for me? If it is important, then you have to do it. So that's where your prioritization skills come in. Do it is uh your price priority is varies from one person to another. What I will prioritize may be different from what someone else will prioritize. However, if you are working on if both of us are working or if you are working on the same project and we know that okay, this feature is very, very important for us to be able to achieve success on this project, then what then the whole team must what must prioritize that thing. So prioritization in your own personal space might vary from my own prioritization from someone else's personal space. But on the job, you must definitely ensure you align with what the team prioritizes. So it involves assessing and ranking items in order to decide where to allocate time, resources, or attention attention most effectively. So that's basically what prioritization means you have to look at the importance, the urgency, and the impact of that particular uh, action. So these are the key aspects. It is the importance, the urgency, and the efficiency of the, of the action. So prioritization techniques. I've listed a number of uh, techniques we can explore to, we can explore to prioritize our activities. Uh, we have the is HOA matrix, we have the ABCD method, the Moscow method, the Pareto principle, and the Pomodoro techniques. So for the Essen HOA te um, technique, this is the matrix. It's the matrix we use to take some decision. So if you look at this uh second quadrant here, yeah, this is my first quadrant, this is my second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. So on the second quadrant here, if you have, you can see we have important, then we have urgent. You can see the second, the first quadrant here we have not urgent. So just like a map, we have to map this and this. That is for this white uh, box, importance plus urgent. This black box is importance plus not urgent. This one here is not important, but it is urgent. Then this one here is uh, this white one is not important and it is not urgent so if a task is very important to us and it is also urgent then we have to do it at that moment there is no back and forth about that it is important and it's very very urgent you have to do it immediately but if it is important but it is not urgent then you can decide to schedule it for a later time so but if it is not it is urgent and it is not even important it is not important that it does not really require your maybe maybe the output will not really affect the business or the project you are working on and it, but it is urgent you can ask someone to do it for you but if it is not important and it is not urgent then you can decide to eliminate or delete it so that's the techniques this is you know why is teaching us here so to the next uh technique is the abcd method so how do we work with abcd method so this kind of method prioritize tasks by assigning letters to them based on their importance so it is letter we use you know on this one we only prioritize based on the importance and the audience so both here we assign letters to to activities based on their importance so for task a 
you can see this we have highest priority that is tasks are critical and must be done immediately so this is the highest priority so you must prioritize that so but for b it means that it is important it's an important task but not as urgent as a that's the medium priority then for the lowest priority which is c it means that that's that it has minimal consequence even if it is delayed though also for d you can decide to delegate it that is delegate that task so you can delegate to someone else just like the isn't this isn't over to that is when a task is urgent and is not important that is when we delegate for this kind of technique but for the abcd method you can decide to delegate that task if it's not important to you then for e if it has no significant impact on the project or no impact at all then you can decide to to eliminate it so the next the next technique we have here is the moscow method so just like for us to be able to pronounce it that's why they had all these two was there but majorly we have msc and w so it's particularly useful in project management so we can use to categorize task based on okay when a project must have a particular activity or when a project those are basically are talking about prioritization so what more what the project must basically have so project cannot do without this kind of uh feature or something that's the impact so the hess is, is should have must have over the long run so if that a feature might not be important at the moment but it would be nice if this project has it so just like you are developing a project that you ought to have like version one version two version three so for you to get into the market very quick you can decide to add what your product must have then you should have can come in later maybe when you have uh, gotten the attention of the market and you have stabilized in the market then you can keep adding those features so for the c part is low cost token that it, it could have it but if it doesn't have it then it's just like a desirable task that's not really essential for the current deliverable so for the w it means that it won't have it that those are tasks that are not prioritized for the current maybe the current version of your project so that's basically so for this method it's basically work for when you are deciding maybe you want to have your own product then you want to decide okay this you can use this Moscow method as your a priority priority technique so uh, i want to believe most of us have heard about Pareto principle this is the 80 20 uh principle so this principle is can, you can use to prioritize tasks based on the principle so that roughly says that that roughly 80 percent of your results is from 20 percent of your effort so if you look at this this is the 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 red part is the important and the uh, the red part is the sorry the blue part is the not important now if you look at the red part for the effort it means you are putting 80 percent of this sorry it's 20 percent of this effort and you are getting 80 percent of your results which means that if you are having for your pareto principle you have to focus on vital tasks that when you do them you are going to get 80 percent results that's what pareto principle is saying that is if you focus on the major task that this is a critical task and which means that if you can work on that task if you can work on 20 percent of that task it can solve it can give you 80 percent of your uh, of your actual uh results so that's basically what uh pareto principle means so we have uh tools and uh, resources let me briefly explain uh pomodoro principle what Promodoro tells us is that if you are working on maybe you have a number of tasks, you can focus on 25, maybe 25 minutes and uh, on your next five minutes can be for a break, a quick break. That is, you can have work deeply for 25 minutes, the next minute, the next five minutes, you go for a break. That means that every 30 minutes, you have 30, 25 minutes deep work and five minutes break. That's basically what Pomodoro principle is all about and it can vary from you you can decide to work deeply for 40 minutes and for the next five minutes you can take you can take a break so tools and resources if you want to manage your task you can use trello uh pascal has had a lecture with us on 
um, tools we can use for our remote um, activity. However, they are not limited to the uh, to the software or the tools she mentioned. I want to believe she mentioned Trello. And uh, for the calendar, for uh, for managing our time, we can we can make use of Google Calendar time tracking software as a toggle. So, what is the challenge for this uh, task for this exercise? As I mentioned earlier, I uh, will be having this task immediately after this session. We are going to share the result, the challenge document with you. Then we want to have the submission in one hour after this session. So this is the scenario we have here. So you, you are a product manager. That's your role for now. You are a product manager and your responsibility is to manage software development process. And you'll be working with product designers, with developers, with data team and uh, with quality assurance team. So with your client, the project you are working with, you are working with a top ranked client that has a project with you and also has a, pro a project in pipeline that's worth $5 million, that worth $5 million. And uh, the success of the project you are presently working on will determine if you will win this $5 million project or not. So the situation is you have to you have a make or break demo with the client. That is, you have a project you are working on at the moment with a client. So you have a make or break demo session with him. So one hour to the you have one hour to the demo, and your QA units reported an issue that one of the major features of the project is failing on Android and iOS application. Though it is working well on, on web, but it is failing on Android and iOS. And don't forget. Is a make or break demo. So if you can get the the client satisfied, then you'll be winning a five million dollar project for your team. So your actions, we have provi we have provided a list of actions in the challenge document. I'm going to take take you through the document also. So you have to prioritize the actions with justification to address the issue without losing your contract with the with the clients you have just one hour to address the issue. So important notice, the task must be submitted at exactly. So I have to update you, sorry about this. So let me start like one hour after the tutorial. So we are interested in the order of action. That is, if you have, how do you prioritize those actions? So how do you prioritize them? You want to have, you want to see your justification for each action you've taken. And also the ones you ignore, we want to see justification for that for them. So that's the end of my presentation. So on to the challenge document. So we'll be submitting. Let's have updated this. So this is a challenge document. I thought I've updated this. That's 11 a.m. to see. Sorry about that. So sorry about that. Yes. So this is my present. So this is the the correct document, the giant document rather. So this is the task. You are a product. You are a project manager with the responsibility of overseeing the successful completion of software development projects. As a project manager, you work with teams from different units such as your UI UX team, developers, culture assurance, and data team. All these teams work in parallel. As project manager, it is your duty to ensure tasks are not overlapping and ensuring bottlenecks in the development process and are tackled head on without resulting in a blocker for one for the other thing. So amidst this workload, you are also responsible to, interfe to interface with the clients, that is, you'll be having frequent meetings with clients to give updates on the status of the project. For every meeting scheduled for 
with the client, you are expected to develop a progress report. In addition, it is your duty to schedule a sprint demo session with your CPU, that is chief product officer. So these are the definitions of your description of your of your team, the UI, the developer, the quality assurance, and the data team. You can, you can go through this. So your ability to manage your team and prioritizing your task will provide you a balance in this role, definitely. So we want you to put yourself in the position of a project manager with the aforementioned workload. We have provided a list of duties you have to perform to ensure a seamless development process and open communication with the client. So we have a deadline to demo, you have a deadline to demo this project to your client in an hour, which is a make or break for the team. You won't afford to lose that kind of client that wants to give you a $5 million project. Otherwise, you will forfeit your agreement with one of your top clients. The QA team has flagged the critical issue. That's this is a challenge here. The QA team has flagged the critical issue with a major feature in the milestone requirement. Well, as one of the requirements, that is, a, that is an issue with one of the features that is for the acceptance uh, criteria of that particular milestone. So it is functioning flawlessly on the web but encountering failures on both Android and iOS versions. Unfortunately, we haven't identified the root cause of this problem. This could, all, this could result in client dissatisf dissatisfaction and potential agreement termination if left unresolved. So as a project manager who is responsible for the outcome of the demo, just an hour before the demo, explore the following actions. These are the actions that we've listed here. We wanted to explore the actions uh, to rectify the issue promptly and ensure the client's satisfaction, thus regarding your agreement. So uh, you go through the, uh, the, uh, the actions yourself. That's part of the challenge. I, can't, I won't go through the action yourself, but everything is, everything is clear. So however, there are some points I want to state here. We have the places we have three that you need to write a message or you need to write a, a test that we say output is three line Slack message. We have that's like the length of the message you want to write. You can't just write a one liner text for that one. It's like a three liner Slack message. It does not mean you want we want you to send a Slack message. So we want you to write a three line, sorry, a three line Slack like Slack length, like Slack length message. So this also uh, does basically it. So now the submission in your doc, in Google, Google Doc, you wanted to itemize the order of the activities you followed. That is the order you follow on your own. Include justification of your priorities. If there are any items that you will do that you will not do, clearly indicate them. If there are some items here. There are some activities here that you won't definitely do, or you won't decide. No, maybe it's not part of your priority. You don't start a priority. We want you to give us reason why you are not going through that route. And we want you to flag each of the activity as critical, medium, and low. All the messages you write, maybe to your developer or to your QA team or to the clients, your, the task you assign, the description, the demo script, if any, we want to have all everything in your document. So what I want, so we wanted to convert it to PDF and submit on 10X. So our marking rubric will be looking at your communication. How do you interact with other members of your team? How do you address the issues to them? How do you tell them we have an issue? Maybe is it professional or unprofessional? I'll be looking at the quality of writing. How do you format your, your reports? We'll be looking at grammatical errors, spelling mistakes and all. We'll be looking at your prioritization. How do you prioritize? Do you consider the critical actions? Do you consider uh, the medium or the less critical actions? Also, we'll be looking at you, and also, how were you, were you able to address the issue in and how? So your justification also, after giving the prioritization, how do you justify? Do you have a convincing reason why you went through the route, or why you choose one action before the other? And we'll be looking at the overall time management like can you actually manage your time within that very short period of time so that is what we have for now uh if you have i will stop my presentation now then uh
give room for questions and answers. So thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Please, can you mute your mic and on top? All right. Thank you. Uh, the document uh, that you showed us is not the same as ours. Uh, it's talking about uh, something Jalo soft. Uh, that is it. Yes. Yeah, that is a different document. So this is the one that will be shared with you. And uh, as part wow. of the challenge requirements, it will be shared with you immediately after this session. Okay. So that, that that we are not going to do, right? What do you say? I, I mean, this the the file that we have right now. Yes, you are not using not... that. Okay. Yes, thank you. So we have in the chat. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, Ibrahim asked. So do we just reorder or justify the action or do we? So what we have there is we have some actions there. There are some actions that require you to write your developer. Some action might require you to write your UI UX. So we want you to write that, OK, first action, write developer or something. So then you want to see the message you write to your developer. Do you get Abraham? So there are instances where by you need to assign it this you need to assign the tax to maybe your, your UI UX designer, then we want you to, to tell us, okay, maybe step two or action two, write a UI UX developer or assign tax to UI UX developer. Then we want to see, we want to see uh the kind we want to see how you want to describe the task to your to your UI designer. How do you describe the task to her or to him without uh, and, and, and without any ambiguity. Is that clear, Abraham? And also, and, and also we want you to, so after that, we want you to justify the reason why you are taking the action before the next. So, okay, thank you, Abraham. So, Meg Desmond is asking, can anyone share the link in week two career folder and found only once only started. Yeah, we will share the link with you immediately after this session. That's why we said you should have your laptop with you. So that immediately we finish the session, you work on it, and the deadline the deadline for submission will be one hour after the tutorial. So include my message to the fellow workers as well. Yes every action you've taken if you are writing even to your if you are writing to the client we want to see the message you uh you are writing to the client so do we justify for using or not using yes the task you the action you've taken for fun well the action you've taken we want you to tell us why you've taken those action and the ones you are not taking we want us we want to know why you decide not to take those action so far, no, is that clear? Okay. So, Biniam, I don't think I understand what you mean here. The task is not available. I said the task will be shared, the challenge document will be shared immediately after this session. I'm going to share the documents in the folder. Is that okay, Biniam? Biniam, is that okay? Okay, thank you. So, any other questions, guys? So, if everything is clear, can I have some thumbs up? Okay, uh, Rudolph is asking if, uh, <laughs> that the title of the document will be it will be time management updated that will be the title of the document when i share it so any limitations to the document uh abraham i don't get what's my limitation
Okay, okay. Well, the page limitation, uh, I don't personally have any limitation for your for the number of pages. However, we want you to be moderate in your because for the for answering the maybe for the messages you want to send, we already have a if the ones you'll be having a bullet for just like the start description that you need to use bullets. We have three bullet points, we have three slack message that is the length of the message you'll be sending. But where you have your autonomy is giving us the reason why you explain why you giving us justification why you uh you did some tasks before the order. So that limitation is left to you, but we want it to be moderate. I mean your explanation, make it short and concise. Is that okay, Biniam? We want no, not PPT. We are making use of Google Doc. Google Doc, the shade tool. Yes, Google Doc. Then you convert it to PDF. Then you submit. So, any other question? Okay, we have. Uh, we have. <laughs> So we have, uh, let's say, 18 minutes to, okay, you've he just joined. Uh, well, this is a summary of the task we'll be having. We're having a task that is, so that will be due for submission one hour after this session. So we are going to share that the, career, the documents immediately after this session. So you can go through the, the document is very very clear the description are very clear so go through it then we want you to submit one hour after the session on 10x please so then for we have that will be definitely consequence for this submission this is a task that wants to test about your time management if you could have 10 minutes before the doc shared get shared Abraham, uh, do you mean we should have like 10 minutes space before you want, before we share the documents? Oh, for preparation. Well, uh, the real situation will not give you that time. If you are on the job and you have that kind of uh, scenario, you won't be given any time for to prepare. It will meet you on um, unnoticed. So that is what we want to test. So you may not have that 10 minutes, please. Is that okay? All right. So I think that is all for now. If you have any question or any uh, clarification you want to make, you can reach out to me or Pascal on Slack. Uh, I don't know if Pascal is on the call, if he has any input or any information for us. Pascaline, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Ensure we meet the deadline. That is it. Okay. Thanks, everyone. And I will notify you on Slack immediately. I share the document. Okay, Rodolf, my name is Abdullah. My name is Abdullah. All right, guys. Take care and enjoy the challenge. <laughs>